second son? He ain't talking about the second son. I look at my other son, no, what's going on here? <laughs> Are we competing? But then, when the Lord touched my brother, and when my brother told me a day that the Lord had an ordination service, I couldn't be here with him. Lord knows I wanted to be. But he does, he has done such a fine, fine job. And just to, as a, just to look at all of you, it shows me the love that you have for my brother. Now, the job is done on this side. Amen. Lord has commissioned him to do that job, mm -hmm. which has brought all of you together. Now he's gone to glory. He's up there with my mother. And they have the Holy Ghost party now. Yeah. Oh, yes. And looking down on all of us. And to my sister-in-law, you know what I feel for you. Because if I had a problem, I would talk to Judy. And she would never tell me nothing wrong. Just like my brother. When I did act up and didn't do it right, Charles was straightening me out. Now, when I look up at him, he looked down on me. That's my big brother. But I just want to say to him, I love you, man. Or as you always say to me, I love you, bro, man. And we will see each other again. And we will see each other again. To my nephews, as I told you last night, I'm here. Me and your father, we made a pact when we were younger, when we, our children came into this world. My brother says to me, if anything ever happened to him, watch out for my sons. And I said the same thing to him. And as I said to Charles, I said to Dre, you're grown men now. Just continue walking that straight path that your father and mother had raised you to do. Be of good courage. And if you need an ear, call me. Because you know me, I'll come down here. And I will get hit be by your side. And that goes for all of you. Amen. God bless you. To the family, I just want to say we're praying with each and every one of you. We're here for you. We said that personally. I say it now before this audience that we are here. To the brother, I want to say you might not have known, but your brother had other brothers. <laughs> I stand before you as a representative of the Prince Hall family, where Charles and I served as members of Eden Lodge Number 46, Prince Hall affiliation. I want to tell you that the man that you all knew was much more than I can ever put into words. When I came into this journey, he was already there. He took me under his wings. You don't know this story because it had never been told in public before. My father died while I was coming into the Masonic Lodge. This man right here became a surrogate father. He watched over me. He led me to the path that I needed to be on. And I'm eternally grateful for that. And so many other brothers who are not here on this evening to share with you. We'll be out in number on tomorrow to let you know in the world know that our brother was loved, he was respected, because he held true the value that we all hold true. We're here to make good men better men. Charles made good men better men. God bless you.
stand with my mom and uh, Charles, Charles, he's a good friend. But I want y'all to know God is with him. Amen. God is with him. I stay here tonight. I'm a single song. You better sing. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Why protest me so? Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. What a Bible tell me so. write it down, and go at it. <laughs> and he was like, you got to be your own man. Being a baby is just a number. That's just a number. You, I know I see something in you, and you're going to be you gonna be a good man. And I was like, but your father, I'm scared. He's like, so? <laughs> if you fall, get up, dust yourself off, and keep it moving. And I was like, okay. And Every day, he was, he was always instilling confidence in me to keep it moving. And I was, that anger that I had, it went away. Because he took me by neck and he got me. And that's all I wanted was God. And he did that for me. And on top of that, Let me tag along, child. You just don't know how much that means. Uh. From Dr. Lee Bowling. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love that sport now. Y'all, every, everywhere y'all went, y'all let me come along. I'd be like, where we going? We just ride. Get that little right, child. Let me food up, watch the TV. <laughs> yeah, I probably owe you some money for all that. <laughs> Two good ears. If you want to hear me, we can always talk. I got 
people good shoulders you can lean on. I'm definitely out. You know where I'm at. That's, that's fine. It feels like we talked about it yesterday. <laughs> Wondering where I was at. I'm where I'm at. So if you ever need anything, I'm here for y'all. I love y'all so much. Because that's my dad. Mama. 